Bubba's Food. Sarah Smith, who lives in San Francisco, went shopping for cat food. Sarah is 30 and lives at 3037 Market Street. She has lived there since 1990. Sarah is married. She is married to a man named John. She has been married for seven years. They have two children and one very big cat. Their son Bob is five years old and their daughter Nancy is three. Their cat, Bubba, is two years old. Bubba is huge. He weighs 258 pounds, 117 kilos. At 9 a.m., Sarah got into her car and drove to the pet store. She bought 68 bags of cat food for $10 each, plus tax. The regular price was $15, so she got a good deal. The total was $680 plus tax. She paid by credit card. On her way home, Sarah stopped at a convenience store to buy milk. Bubba loves milk. The milk was $3 for one gallon, and Sarah bought 30 gallons. She paid $100 and got $10 back in change. Sarah got home at 11 a.m., Bubba was waiting at the door. He was very hungry. Hello. Welcome to the vocabulary lesson for Bubba's food. Let's begin. Let's start. First we see Sarah Smith who lives in San Francisco, went shopping for cat food. Okay, who lives in San Francisco? Who means Sarah, right? Sarah Smith. Sarah lives in San Francisco. Who lives in San Francisco? Okay, so who is same as Sarah? It's Sarah. So Sarah lives in San Francisco. She went shopping for cat food in the past. She went shopping. Sarah is 30, 30 years old. Her age is 30. She lives at 3037 Market Street. Okay, that is her address, right? Her apartment is 3037 Market Street. Her house, 3037 Market Street. Okay. She has lived there since 1990. So starting in 1990, she lived in that house until now, from 1990 until now. That's why we say has lived, has lived since 1990, starting in 1990 until now. Sarah is married. She's married to a man named John. She has been married for seven years. Again, has been, has been. Starting seven years ago until now. Right? She married seven years ago, seven years in the past until now. So has been married. Okay, her husband John and Sarah have two children and one very big cat. Okay, two children, one big cat. Their son Bob is five years old. Their daughter Nancy is three, three years old. Their cat Bubba 
is two years old. So Bubba is two. Bubba is huge. Huge. Huge means very, very, very big. So Bubba is a very, very big cat. Bubba is huge, giant, very, very, very big, very, very, very big. He is huge. Bubba is huge, 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 super big, huge. Bubba weighs 258 pounds. Oh, he's super huge. 258 pounds. He weighs, weighs 258 pounds. That is 117 kilos. Kg. Kilograms. 117 kilograms. 258 pounds. The super big, huge cat. Bubba is a huge cat. Okay. At 9 a.m., 9 in the morning, at 9 a.m., 9 in the morning, Sarah got into her car and drove to the pet store. Okay, now we're talking past. Past. This happened already. Finished. Sarah got into her car and drove right past of drive so now i drive yesterday i drove i drove yesterday i drove now i get into my car yesterday i got into my car okay so sarah drove to the pet store. She bought 68 bags of cat food. Bought, right? Now I buy. Yesterday I bought. Bought. So she bought 68 bags of cat food. Wow, 68 bags of cat food for $10 each plus tax. They were $10 each. Each bag of cat food was $10. Cost $10. The regular price, regular means normal, so the normal price, the regular price, the regular normal price was $15. So, she got a good deal. Got a good deal. To get a good deal means to find, to get a good price. It means you pay less than normal. Right? Normal price was $15, she paid only $10, so she got a good deal. Okay, we use this uh, many times. It's a normal phrase, to get a good deal. Say, ah, I got a good deal, means a good price. You pay less than normal. Okay, she got a good deal. The total was $680, right? 68 bags, $10 each. The total was $680. She paid by credit card. She used her credit card. Okay, we say paid by credit card or paid with a credit card. So she paid by credit card or 
she paid with a credit card, right? With a by credit card or with a credit card. She paid by credit card. On her way home, Sarah stopped at a convenience store to buy milk. On her way home means while coming home. Or during her trip home. Right? So it's at the same time. While she is coming home, she stops at a convenience store. So on her way home, meaning as she traveled home, as she came home, while she came home, okay, same meaning, all of those, same. So on her way home, she stopped at a convenience store to buy milk. Bubba loves milk. The milk was three dollars for one gallon. And Sarah bought 30 gallons. Okay, one gallon is about four liters. Okay, so one gallon, about four liters. She bought 30 gallons of milk for Bubba. She paid $100 total and got $10 back in change. Okay, to get back means uh, returned to you. So she gave, she paid $100 and then received, received $10 return. Right? So she gave 100 and then she paid too much. So they gave her $10 back. She got $10 back. She received $10 back to her, to her again. Okay, so she got $10 back in change, in change. In change means the extra money, right? extra money she paid. The cost is $90. She paid $100, so $10 change, right? She got $10 back in change. Okay, Sarah got home at 11 a.m. Again, here, got means uh, returned, right, or came. She got home. She returned home. She arrived home. Same basic meaning. She got home at 11 a.m. Bubba was waiting at the door at the same time, right? She got home. Bubba was waiting. These two are at the same time. So was waiting, waiting. Bubba was waiting at the door. He was very, very hungry. So she got home at 11 a.m. and Bubba was waiting at the door. He was very hungry. Okay, that is all of the vocabulary for this lesson. Listen to this lesson every day until you know all of the vocabulary. Also, Use your dictionary if you don't understand a word. Use your dictionary. Okay, next lesson 
is the mini story. Hello, welcome to mini story A for Bubba's food. In this lesson, listen and answer every question. Use your pause button and answer the question, then play again. You can answer with just one word or two words. It's okay. Short answers are okay. Okay, let's start. Let's begin. Sarah Smith, who lives in San Francisco, went shopping for cat food. Did Sarah, who lives in San Francisco, go shopping for dog food? No. No. Sarah, who lives in San Francisco, didn't go shopping for dog food. Sarah, who lives in San Francisco, went shopping for cat food. Right, Sarah went shopping for cat food. Did Sarah, who lives in San Francisco, go shopping for dog food or cat food? Well, cat food, of course, right? Sarah, who lives in San Francisco, went shopping for cat food. Did John, who lives in San Francisco, go shopping for cat food? No, not John, not John. John, who lives in San Francisco, didn't go shopping for cat food. Sarah, who lives in San Francisco, went shopping for cat food. Sarah is 30 years old. How old is Sarah? Well, she's 30. Right? Sarah is 30 years old. Where does Sarah live? Ah, oh, well, she lives in San Francisco, right? At 3037 Market Street. Her address is 3037 Market Street. What is her address? Is it 3039 Market Street or 3037 Market Street? Yes, she lives at 3037 Market Street. She has lived there since 1990. Has Sarah lived there since 1980? No, no, not since 1980. Has she lived there since 1975? No, she hasn't lived there since 1975. She has lived there since 1990. Sarah has lived there since 1990. Who has lived there since 1990? Ah, uh, Sarah, right? Sarah has lived there since 1990. She has lived there since when? Well, since 1990. Sarah has lived there since 1990. Is Sarah married? Yes, Sarah is married. Who is she married to? 
Who is she married to? Ah, John. She's married to John. Is Sarah married to Bill? No, she's not married to Bill. Is she married to Jim? No, she's not married to Jim. Is she married to Jim? Or is she married to John? Oh, she's married to John. Who is she married to? Huh? She's married to John. Who is married to John? Sarah. Sarah is married to John. Right? She has been married to him for seven years. Have they been married for seven years or ten years? Well, they have been married for seven years. Who has been married for seven years? Oh, Sarah and John. Sarah and John have been married for seven years. Have they been married for 20 years? No, they have been married for seven years. Do they have children? Yes, they do. They have two children and also one very big cat. How old is their son, Bob? Well, their son, Bob, is five years old. Is Bob ten years old? No. How old is Bob? Bob is five years old. Their daughter is three. Who is their daughter? Ah, Nancy. Nancy is their daughter. Right? Her name is Nancy. Is their daughter Bubba? No, no, no. Their daughter, girl, is Nancy. Who is Bubba? Ah, Bubba is their cat. Bubba is their cat. How old? is Bubba. Ah, Bubba is two. Bubba is two years old. Is Bubba a big cat or a little cat? Oh, Bubba is a big cat. Bubba is a huge cat. Super big. Very, very big. Bubba is huge. Is Nancy huge? No, Nancy isn't huge. Is Bob huge? No, Bob isn't huge. Is Sarah huge? No, Sarah isn't huge. Who is huge? Ah, Bubba. Bubba is huge. Is Bubba a normal cat? No, he's a huge cat. Super huge cat. Bubba isn't normal. Bubba is huge. How much does Bubba weigh? Oh, he weighs 258 pounds. Does he weigh 290 pounds? No. Does he weigh 20 pounds? No. How much does he weigh? He weighs 258 pounds. Bubba weighs 258 pounds. And he's hungry. 
So, at 9 a.m., Sarah got into her car. Right? Past 9 a.m., maybe yesterday, maybe last year. But at 9 a.m., Sarah got into her car. Did she get into her truck or did she get into her car? No, she got into her car. Who got into her car? Sarah. Sarah got into her car. Did John get into his car? No, no, he didn't. Sarah got into her car. After she got into her car, where did Sarah drive? Where did Sarah drive? Ah, she drove to the pet store. Sarah got into her car and drove to the pet store. Why? Why did Sarah get into her car and drive to the pet store? Ah, oh, to buy cat food. Right? To buy cat food for Bubba. Who got into her car and who drove to the pet store? Well, Sarah, of course. Sarah got into her car and drove to the pet store. How many bags of cat food did she buy? 68. She bought 68 bags of cat food. Who bought 68 bags of cat food? Well, Sarah. Sarah bought 68 bags of cat food. Where did she buy 68 bags of cat food? Well, at the pet store. At the pet store. She bought 68 bags of cat food at the pet store. Did she buy... 68 bags of cat food at the grocery store or at the pet store? Right, at the pet store. She bought 68 bags of cat food at the pet store. How much did she pay? Uh, she paid $10 each plus tax. Did she pay $5 for each bag or $10 for each bag? She paid $10. $10 for each bag. Did she get a good deal? Yeah, she got a good deal. She got a good price. What was the normal price? The normal price was $15. $15. Was $15 the regular normal price? Yes. $15 was the regular price. Did Sarah pay $15 for each bag? No, no, she didn't pay $15. No, she didn't pay the regular price. So, did she get a good deal? Yes, she got a good deal. She paid only $10 each. She got a good deal. Did John get a good deal? No, no, not John. 
Sarah got a good deal. Okay, that is all for Mini Story A. Welcome to Mini Story B for Bubba's Food. Let's continue. Who paid ten dollars for a bag of cat food? Sarah, right? Sarah paid ten dollars for each bag of cat food. How many bags did she buy? Well, she bought sixty-eight bags. Right? Sixty-eight. Sarah bought sixty-eight bags of cat food for ten dollars each. Did she get a good deal? Yes, yes. She got a good deal. Sarah got a good deal. What was the regular price for each bag? Well, the regular price was fifteen dollars. She paid ten dollars, so she got a good deal. What was the total bill? What was the total? Ah, six hundred eighty dollars. The total was six hundred and eighty dollars. Did each bag cost six hundred and eighty dollars? No, 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 no. Not each bag. Each bag cost ten dollars plus tax. The total was six hundred and eighty dollars. Each bag was ten dollars. Was each bag ten dollars or six hundred and eighty dollars? Each bag was ten dollars. Ten. Was the total ten dollars or six hundred and eighty dollars? The total was six hundred and eighty dollars. How did Sarah pay? Did she pay with cash or by credit card? Ah, she paid by credit card. Did she pay with cash? No, she didn't pay with cash. She didn't pay with dollars. She paid by credit card. Who paid by credit card? Sarah. Sarah paid by credit card. Where did she pay by credit card? Huh? At the pet store. She paid by credit card at the pet store. Did Sarah pay by credit card for cat food or for dog food? Ah, uh, cat food. She paid by credit card for cat food. On her way home, Sarah stopped at a convenience store to buy milk. On her way home. Did she stop at a grocery store? No, 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 not a grocery store. On her way home, she stopped at a convenience store. On her way home, did Sarah stop at a grocery store or at a convenience store? Ah,、huh. at a convenience store. On her way home, 
Sarah stopped at a convenience store. On her way home, did Sarah stop at a convenience store to buy cat food? No, 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 not at the convenience store. On her way home, she didn't stop at a convenience store to buy cat food. What did she buy at the convenience store? Ah, milk, milk, right? On her way home, Sarah stopped at a convenience store to buy milk. On her way to work, did Sarah stop at a convenience store? No, 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 not on her way to work. On her way home, on her way home, Sarah stopped at a convenience store. Was Sarah going to work or was Sarah going home? Ah, she was going home. On her way home, Sarah stopped at a convenience store. She was going home when she stopped at a convenience store to buy milk. Why did she buy milk? Ah, because Bubba loves milk. Does Sarah love milk? No. Who loves milk? Bubba. Bubba loves milk. How much was one gallon of milk? Well, three dollars, right? One gallon of milk was three dollars. Did Sarah buy one gallon? No, she didn't buy one gallon. Did she buy 50 gallons? No, Sarah didn't buy 50 gallons. How many gallons did she buy? She bought 30 gallons. How many gallons of water did Sarah buy? Oh, none. None. Zero. She didn't buy water. Sarah bought 30 gallons of milk. She didn't buy water. How much did Sarah pay? Well, she gave the man $100 and got back $10. What was her total? Her total was $90, right? The total was $90. How much change did she get back? She got ten dollars back, right? Ten dollars. Did Sarah get fifteen dollars back in change? No, no, she didn't get fifteen dollars back in change. Did John get ten dollars back in change? No, not John. John didn't get ten dollars back in change. Who got $10 back in change? Sarah or John? Sarah, right? Sarah got $10 back in change. Did Sarah pay $10? No, 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 no. She paid $100. She got $10 back returned in change. 
How much change did she get back? Ten dollars. She got ten dollars back in change. When did Sarah get home? She got home at 11 a.m. Did John get home at 11 a.m.? No, no. John was already home. Not John. Sarah. Sarah got home at 11 a.m. Did she get home at night or in the morning? Ah, she got home in the morning. A. M. In the morning. Sarah got home at 11 in the morning. A. M. Was Bubba happy when Sarah got home? Yes, Bubba was happy when Sarah got home. What was Bubba doing? When Sarah got home, Bubba was waiting at the door. Was John waiting at the door? No, no. Was Bob waiting at the door when Sarah got home? No, 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 no. When Sarah got home, was Nancy Waiting at the door. No. Who was waiting at the door when Sarah got home? Bubba. Bubba was waiting at the door. When was Bubba waiting at the door? Ah, when Sarah got home. 11 a.m., right? Bubba was waiting at the door when Sarah got home at 11 a.m. So 11 a.m. 11 in the morning. Was Bubba tired? No, he wasn't tired. Was Bubba hungry? Yes, Bubba was very hungry. What did Bubba want? Ah, Bubba wanted the cat food, right? Bubba was very, very hungry. Was Sarah hungry? Or was Bubba hungry? Bubba was hungry. When was Bubba hungry? Huh. At 11 a.m., right? Or when Sarah got home. He was hungry when Sarah got home. At 11 a.m. Okay, that is all for mini story B. Listen to this story. Answer each question, use your pause button, and listen many, many, many times. Okay, see you next time. Okay, welcome to Mini Story C for Bubba's Food. In this lesson, I will ask more questions about the story. I will ask questions you know, questions from the story text. And I will ask some questions you don't know. If you don't know the answer, guess. Guess. Try to think of an answer. Say something. Anything. Okay, answer all the questions. Let's start. Let's begin. Okay. 
Where was Sarah from? Ah, uh, she was from San Francisco. San Francisco. Sarah lived in San Francisco. Was Sarah married? Yeah, Sarah was married. Of course, she was married. Who was she married to? Yeah, that's right. She was married to John. Where did they get married? Hmm. Where did Sarah and John get married? Did they get married in San Francisco? Or... Did they get married in India? Well, in India, of course. They got married in India. Who got married in India? Sarah and John. When did they get married in India? Oh, seven years ago. Seven years ago, they got married in India. Did they get married in China? No, they didn't. They got married in India. How many people came to their wedding. How many people came to India when they got married? Oh, 20,000. 20,000 people came to India when they got married. Wow. How many people came to India? When they got married? 20,000, that's right. 20,000 people came to India when they got married. And when did they get married? Seven years ago. Where did they get married? In India. Who got married in India? India. Sarah and John. How much did they pay when they got married? Hmm. How much did they pay when they got married? Did they pay $50,000? No, 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 they didn't. Did they pay $100,000? No, no, they didn't. They paid only $2 when they got married. How much did they pay when they got married? $2. They paid only $2 when they got married. Who paid only two dollars when they got married? Sarah and John. Where did they get married? In India. How many people came to India when they got married? Ah. 20,000, right? 20,000 came to India when they got married. And how much did they pay when they got married? Only two dollars. Only two dollars. Why did they pay only two dollars when they got married in India? seven years ago.
Oh, they paid only two dollars because they got a great deal in India. Did they get a great deal for their marriage when they got married? Yeah, they got a great deal when they got married. They paid only two dollars when they got married. It was a great deal. Right, very cheap. After they got married, they came home to San Francisco. When did they get Bubba? Hmm. When did they get Bubba? Oh, they got Bubba one year ago. Did they get Bubba two years ago or one year ago? They got Bubba two years ago. How old is Bubba? Ah, Bubba is two. Right? Bubba is two years old. When did they get Bubba? They got Bubba one year ago. When they got Bubba, was he huge? No, no, he wasn't. When they got Bubba, he wasn't huge. When they got Bubba, he was very small. Was he small when they got him? Or was he huge when they got him? He was small. Right? One year ago, Bubba was small. One year ago, how much did Bubba weigh? Oh, Bubba weighed one pound. One year ago, Bubba weighed only one pound. And now, how much does Bubba weigh now? Oh, now, Bubba weighs 258 pounds. Did he weigh 258 pounds one year ago? No, he didn't. He didn't weigh 258 pounds one year ago. How much did he weigh one year ago? Only one pound. One year ago, he weighed only one pound. Now, he weighs 258 pounds. Wow. Why is Bubba huge now? Uh, why? Uh, because Sarah feeds him one bag of cat food every hour. Oh. He eats one bag of cat food every hour. Does Bubba eat two bags of cat food every hour? No, 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 not two bags. Bubba eats one bag of cat food every hour. Does he eat one bag of cat food every 10 minutes? No, not every 10 minutes. Does he eat one bag of cat food every 50 minutes? No, not every 50 minutes. Does he eat one bag of cat food every 60 minutes? Yes, exactly. He eats one bag of cat food every 
60 minutes every hour. How many bags of cat food does Bubba eat every hour? One, right? He eats one bag of cat food every hour. Who eats one bag of cat food every hour? Bubba or Sarah? Mm. <laughs> of course, Bubba. Bubba eats one bag of cat food every hour. Does Bubba like milk? Oh, yes. Bubba loves milk. He also drinks one gallon of milk every hour. Does he drink two gallons of milk per hour? No, 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 not two gallons of milk per hour. Does he drink five gallons of water per hour? No, he doesn't drink five gallons of water per hour. Does he drink one gallon of water per hour, every hour? No, 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 not water, not water. He drinks one gallon of milk per hour. Does Bubba drink one gallon of milk per hour? Every hour. Yes, yes he does. Does he eat one bag of cat food? Every hour. Per hour. Yes. Per hour, what does Bubba eat and drink? Oh, per hour, he eats one bag of cat food and drinks one gallon of milk. Right? One bag of cat food, one gallon of milk per hour. Per means uh, every. Every hour, per hour, same, same meaning. So, per hour, Bubba eats one bag of cat food, and per hour, Bubba drinks one gallon of milk. Is this expensive for Sarah or is it cheap for Sarah? Oh, expensive, expensive, right? A lot of money. Right? She pays a lot of money for Bubba's food and milk. It is expensive, expensive. How much does she pay for each bag of cat food? Ah, $10 for each bag. And how much does she pay for each gallon of milk? She pays $3 for each gallon of milk. Is her total cheap or expensive it's expensive very expensive so now is Bubba huge or is Bubba small Bubba is huge and Bubba is happy okay that's all for mini story C